Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing an all day ultimate clean with me, but this is going to be a little bit different because it is going to be a real life, real mom cleaning. I'm going to have to stop and make dinner and do all the things. So I'm sure you guys will be able to find this very relatable. We go ahead and let's get started. So I am starting this clean with me a little different. I am going to bake some really yummy brownies for the kids. And honestly, I really wanted them to. So I'll just blame the kids for this. But the King Arthur brand is what I am going to use. And it is by far my favorite brand for gluten-free. And what I really like about this particular brand and these brownies is you can make it dairy-free as well. And that is what I'm going to do. I get it from Target. I don't know where else you can get it from. That's just where I get it. And I love them. Some of my favorite gluten-free brownies ever. They are not thin and they are really just fluffy and delicious. I'm now gonna start in my room. I have got to clean these sheets. How often do you guys clean your sheets? Let me know in the comments below. I like to do it at least once a week. And honestly, with it being white, I love that because I can use bleach, but it's really frustrating because if Ruby is outside and then she gets on my bed, I can see all the dirt and I cannot sleep in that. I don't know, call me crazy. So I'm gonna get these sheets off of the bed and I am gonna wash these and this is gonna kinda kick off my ultimate clean with me because I am planning on cleaning the rest of the day. After putting the first load in the wash, I test the brownies and make sure they're good to go. I add a little bit more time with them and then I head to my room. I wanna show you these tanks, originally $8. They're on sale for five and they are amazing, you guys, at Target. Onto the kitchen, I am gonna fill up my container here with some regular old dishwashing liquid from Sam's. This is Members Mark, nothing fancy. I asked in my last video if you found it boring for me to just do a bunch of dishes and some of you said that it was actually relaxing. So I'm obviously going to speed this up, but I'm not going to cut a lot of it out. So you'll get the full effect. Thank you. 
I make a huge mess with these brownies. I make them look so ugly, but honestly, they taste amazing. You really should let them cool down before you put them in a container. I just could not wait because I was wanting to clean the kitchen. You guys, you've got to try them. They are so good. Back into the kitchen, I am going to wipe down this microwave. I meant to do this earlier, but I got distracted. That's why lists are so important. I did not make one today. So I am gonna wipe everything down with my e-cloth just to get it started. And then I am gonna use my favorite cleaner of all, my Super Clean, and you guys, it will just eat off all of this grime. The camera did not do a very good job of showing you all the stuff that was left on it after wiping it down with the e-cloth. So that is why I had to use the super clean and all I needed to use was a paper towel and it just wiped completely clean. I love this stuff. As I've mentioned, this is a very realistic clean with me and mom duty calls. So I need to go ahead and start making the sauce for my homemade lasagna for dinner. So that is what I am going to do. I'm gonna start browning this sausage up a little bit and then I will go back to cleaning and then checking on this as I go. Now I'm going to start finishing up the sauce. I just use Jimmy Dean all natural sausage. I brown that up and then I use a larger can of crushed tomatoes. Mild Rotel, this one is a fire roasted blend. I like a little bit of spice to it and then two cans of small tomato sauce. So, or two small cans of tomato sauce, that sounds better. And then I just simmer for a little while. I also add a dash of some Italian seasoning, but like I had said before, I did make a video on this recipe. You guys, it is so yummy. Sausage in your spaghetti sauce is a game changer. As I was cooking the spaghetti, my husband told me to look at Noah. You guys, do you guys have little boys that just cannot sit still? Look at this little guy. This is him watching TV. And he did get a lot of activity today, so it is just so funny. Let me know in the comments below, do your boys do this too? <laughs> While the lasagna is cooking, I am gonna start doing the dinner pots and pans. I like to do this while everything's cooking so I don't have a huge mess after dinner is over because honestly, I usually do not have the energy to get in there and take care of it. Dinner was excellent. I am now putting it away and you can see the time lapse because I am putting the laundry on my bed now or putting the clean sheets on my bed.
So here we are actually turning the mattress around. My husband wanted to see if he would sleep better if we just kind of shifted it around. And we will see if that actually works. I was really excited to have the little guys helping me. Noah is too much. He is so funny. He wanted to put all of the pillows on the bed, so we let him, and he felt pretty proud of himself, as you can see. The kids did something called Soapy Trampoline, where we put the sprinkler under the trampoline and put some body wash on there and just let them have fun. So I have got some clothes to clean up and I need to clean off my countertop. I'm usually pretty good at cleaning up after myself, but this particular day, I just kind of got lazy. So. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to jump on here really quick while I'm cleaning because it's in front of me and I wanted to tell you guys about a product. This is Smile Brilliant. I am loving this. So you make your impressions, you get this kit, which is awesome, and you, you have your uh, catalyst paste and the base and you basically put uh, both of them together until they are one solid color and then you make your entrees and you send it off to the labs. You get it back super quick and I love that because these are actually made specifically for my teeth and they feel almost like a gummy feeling. You saw they were really flexible and I love that because I have done trays before in the past and they tear up my gums because it's such hard plastic. But these completely mold to my teeth and I love them. So you saw me put the teeth whitening gel, that is this right here, and I love it. I've been using these probably three times now, and I can already see such a difference. The first time I used it, I could see a big difference, and by the third time, I don't think I need to go much more. Um, they recommend like seven to 14 days, depending on the level you wanna to get to. This is really good, and what I like also is you know that a lot of teeth whitening kits can make your teeth insanely sensitive. Well, this comes with a desensitizing gel and it honestly does work. The first time I put these on, it didn't bother me immediately, but then it started feeling a little sensitive, but I pushed through, I wore it for 45 minutes. You can wear it 45 minutes to three hours. I've done only 45 minutes, so that should give you some kind of idea of what it would look like. The results would be a lot more than mine. I've only done 45 minutes for three sessions. And I have used the desensis I used the desensitizing gel the first time, but I have not had to use it again. This has not bothered my teeth the more I've used it, and I really like the result. I'm gonna have all the information about this Smile Brilliance in my description box. If it's something that you're interested in, want to whiten your teeth, I am a heavy coffee and tea drinker, and so it is really important for me to have my smile looking bright and white. I don't want it to look like I'm a heavy coffee and tea drinker. I have used other <clears throat> whitening strips and I feel like they burn my gums. That's no kidding, they actually burn my gums and I don't like it. And I really don't like that the strips stop right here. This completely fits your entire, all of your teeth. Like it goes from front to back and I love that. The whitening strips start here and I don't like that teamed up with this company to show you guys because if you're like me you want to have a nice bright white smile but you want it to be affordable and so i thought this would be awesome to show you guys the product i am using right now and if you guys want to use it i have all of my information in the description box definitely check them out but again you can't beat it and like i said to be able to have comfortable trays made to your teeth send it off to the lab and it's back within a week Come. You send it in this little bag here, and it comes with a prepaid uh, postage label, and it is so easy, you guys. It was much easier doing this than going to the dentist, and I have gone to the dentist to do whitening before, and it's insanely expensive, and it takes so long, and I don't like the plastic trays because it hurts my teeth. So I just wanted to show you guys this and let you see something I've been using. I'm going to get back to cleaning. I wasn't going to share it. I was like... Maybe not, but since I'm in here and I'm actually cleaning up the mess, I figured, why not? So, back to cleaning. Won't 
I am done cleaning the toilet and I noticed I had a ladle in the bathtub. You know, you'll give your kids just about anything to keep them entertained in the bath for just a little bit longer. I took the advice of one of my sweet viewers and I am using my e-cloth for the mirrors and windows and that way there are no chemicals and this actually helps because I can't stand the smell of Windex although I love the way it works it hurts my lungs so this was perfect Keep on acting now like strangers scream out loud I will go if nothing changes so change your heart Since I have this washcloth available, I figure I might as well wipe down the doors a little bit. I like to do this every springtime and honestly, whenever they look bad, I like to take care of it. So I plan on doing the entire house. Now I'm going to spray down my shower. I had sprayed some Kaboom in here and I'm just going to rinse everything clean. So I am tackling this bathroom now. I am picking up some laundry on the floor and then I need to refold some of the towels. It looks like somebody didn't put them in there properly. So I'll take care of this now. Many of you know I have like a million kids and four of which are boys. So this bathroom gets super nasty. So this is my time to really get in there and clean everything, even the baseboards, the wall, and all on the floor. I might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional. But then I turn around and let it go I see you watching me from a distance I see you can't decide what to feel But if you dig a little deeper, boy You know you really want to I noticed when I was cleaning up the kitchen for the final time tonight, my refrigerator needed to be cleaned out and this was the time to get to it. 
I am going to straighten up the boys room. I like to do this when I put them to bed that evening. I don't like my kids to go to bed in a messy room, so I am happy to do this real quick while they are occupied for a moment. I am going to also exchange a bin. Their costume bin was just overflowing, so I am gonna move their toys into that one and vice versa. This hallway is still a work in progress, but we did at least get the wainscoting up or the board and batten, whatever you want to call it, and get it painted. But I need to add pictures to the top. And I actually thought, you know, I don't think you guys have really seen this area from this angle. Yes, I did it all for love. Oh. They say fools believe in it. So I guess I'm I came into my older boy's room to clean this room up before they went to bed as well. But then I noticed that my eight year old has been taking his clean clothes and shoving them in the closet when I told him to hang them up. So I am going to lay all his clothes out nicely and he can hang them up properly like he should have done the first time.
So let me know in the comments below how often do you do these deep cleans, ultimate clean with me if you will. How often do you do these? I do them at least once a week. And a little fun fact, do you know that Ultimate Clean With Me was actually discovered or come about by Love Meg? I thought she should get the credit that she deserves. Here are the mounds of laundry I still have to do. And honestly, you guys, in my last video where you said the laundry exploded, that was all taken care of. This is a whole new week. Give me that space. You guys, I hope this video is giving you some extreme cleaning motivation. I got a lot done and I was feeling pretty accomplished. Now I can put my comforter on the bed and get ready to climb in. I'm so excited. But before I do that, I'm going to have my kids, or actually my husband's going to have my kids, clean the playroom. So I don't know if this is good parenting or bribery, but I've told them they can stay up for an extra 10 minutes if they clean up the playroom. No, make sure you're helping. Hey, I'm just up in the car. I don't want to turn. Yeah, you're just going to be a in there. That's work. Yeah, work together as a team. Very nice. Okay, Noah, you get the trucks. Where do the trucks go? No, the trucks don't go in that bin. Yeah. I forgot. Where's the other bin? They go in there, you go. Noah, can you push those three bins back if, if, they're, if you're done? Hold on, put that last car. Get the last car, look, the last car right here. There's one. Get those cars. Oh, no. No, I just, that goes right here. Oh. Then where's the piece for this? Noah, get the cars. I think it got lost. Noah, get those cars right there, babe. Those, these are wheels. Okay, then. Give them to me, and I'll and I'll give them to Liam. Pick them up. Hand them to me. Just sorry, we're not done. I can't. <laughs> okay, just I help him. That's very heavy. It goes. The rope has to go out. Okay, you know what? I'm. That was pretty good, guys. I don't want to have this guy. You did pretty good. Now smile. Look, look. Come here. Go over there, Noah. Look at me. Okay, now say like and subscribe.